can Kerbal Space Program act as a suitable simulator with the right mods. The game is great alone, but if we install a mod called Real Solar System and another called Realism Overhaul, the force of gravity, engine power atmospheric heights and everything happens to real flyers, then, under these conditions you can simulate a mission there is. What do you think, what other simulators do you recommend? I helped develop the RSS, RO, RP1 mod suite which, respectively, are and do, Real Solar System, which gives you the Sol system, appropriately sized and massed, Realism Overhaul, which gives you historical engines with historical masses, thrust, specific impulse, and rated burn times, and Realistic Progression 1, which requires star trackers, radio beacons for vehicle control and provides a career progression and tech tree roughly approximating the historical development of space-related hardware, the mods that I can consider critical for making KSP simulation worthy. Our real solar system. You can't even start to be realistic if you're flying between fictional planets, realism overhaul. Otherwise, you have ridiculous mass fractions and crazy engines which lead to schemes like the famous but completely unrealistic asparagus staging. FAR and real fuels are required for RO to work, FAR Ferrum Aerospace Research. FAR overwrites the stock aerodynamics model with one that properly simulates supersonic and hypersonic flow phenomena and drag characteristics, real fuels, otherwise, you have oxidizer and liquid fuel instead of LOX and LH2. Models boil off of cryogenic propellant and feed issues caused by ullage under negative acceleration, Principia. This is by far the single most important mod to take KSP from game to simulation. Principia applies a high-speed, very accurate n-body gravitation model to KSP. You can accurately simulate the ISEE-3 mission in KSP. Essential if you hope to do anything resembling real spaceflight. Also models the lumpiness of real planetary bodies, honorable mentions, kerbalism with RO kerbalism configuration, the best stab at realistic life support requirements yet, real antennas, highly simplified yet still the most realistic antenna model so far, mech jeb and KOS, real spacecraft are nearly fully automated, what these can't do, a partial list, real fuels doesn't properly model mass distribution within propellant filled tanks nor the effects of bulkhead positioning, real fuels models tank mass solely as a function of tank volume, not tank area. Ends up being a pretty decent model for most tank shapes. I did a project testing this model against historical data for an upcoming tank materials overhaul, because while skinnier tanks might have the same surface as a wider tank, it carries less propellant mass so doesn't need as much mass to meet structural demands. FAR cannot model shockwave compression lift, no droop wing Valkyrie for you. FAR always models the atmosphere as a perfect gas even at high hypersonic speeds. Principia cannot model the force of solar radiation or atmospheric drag at altitudes above 140 km, Principia cannot model conservation of angular momentum and hence the Dzanabekov effect. But this is about to change. Egg, the brilliant mathematician behind Principia, has announced as of a few days ago that he has solved this equation and is incorporating it into an upcoming Principia release. Further reading, recommended mod list for RP1 installs. I wrote this so it's a bit biased towards my personal preferences but hopefully pretty detailed differences between RO and stock KSP introduction to RP1.